Good morning, I'm Matt Schwartz, Chair of the Worksite Wellness Council of Louisville. As you can see, we are at the beautiful setting out at the Gaines Foundation Lodge for our annual conference 2019. And uh, Ruth Ward just completed, yes. we, we had a great talk about yes. the fire yes. that can either ignite your culture right. or, or put it out. It. Yeah. That's right. So give me a sense, I mean, what, what's the gist of what you were trying to get across this morning with re, with regard to that concept, the element of that of wellness? What I really wanted to get across was that no matter what your vision or mission statement is, if your culture is toxic, it will destroy your company. If your culture is affirming and positive, it will build your company and take it to higher heights and it will achieve all of its goals, objectives, everything. But it all starts with a positive culture. When you, you gave example, I mean, I, yes. I remember the one that it's just uh, sounded so wonderful that they're ethical and they're doing mm -hmm. nice things and they're good people, etc. And then they were bankrupt and criminal because yes. it was Enron. Right. So right. obviously there, there's, you know, mission and vision and all that is nice. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it really has to come through. And, and you talked a little right. bit about how the, the way that people actually act mm -hmm. it isn't just what you say in those things. That's right. So it's what you do. And it all starts at the top. Like I said, uh, culture starts at the penthouse, but it's carried out by the doormat. It starts with the CEO, the director, the leader. They're the ones that are responsible for setting the tone, the culture of the company, and then the employees will carry it out. But it starts at the top. So now you then did this uh, great little game. So you know, we had, everybody handed out all the tables had games, mm -hmm. and uh, so maybe give me what, what. What do you think was your your, your one of your better examples? Of one uh -huh. of the games, you know, where the, we were talking, you know, had people talk about their own mm -hmm. workplaces and what it looked like, and mm -hmm. which, and then we had to guess which game it was. So, um, I would say maybe Monopoly, in that the culture of Monopoly is all about me. I got to get as much as I want, but you do have the opportunity to try to change it if you would like to. You don't have to put somebody in jail. And right. you don't have to take their property. <laughs> right, you, you got a choice every time. Right, right, absolutely. And so, you know, when we think back to, to wellness, and mm -hmm. you sort of tied this in in, in your talk, but mm -hmm. in terms of how that culture impacts and what you can do, yes. you know, what would be the biggest takeaway you'd want us to have with regard to how that culture really impacts the way that you can uh, bring somebody into wellness? And, and, mm -hmm. and, and, um, I would say, um, again, the director, CEO, whoever, they have to live it first. And when you have healthy employees, then you're gonna have a healthy culture and then you're, it's gonna uh, play out by benefiting your customers who you are selling your product to or whatever that you're doing. Uh, uh, if a person's mind is in the right place, if when they come into work in the morning, and if they're feeling good, and if they know that they're gonna um, walk into a, per a place that's affirming for them, uh, they're gonna be a better employee. They're gonna feel better. You're gonna have less uh, sick days, people calling in, because they're gonna feel better. They're gonna want to be there, and that's right. what you want. And when they're there, then they're fulfilling the mission, vision of that company. But they gotta be, wanna be there and feel good about what they're doing in right. their head and, and in their body. Right, and, and we did hear a couple of great examples of yes. that. I mean, really, you know, the, the testimonials from mm -hmm. companies of what mm -hmm. they did and what they heard right. from their leader and what they right. feel. So, well, we really appreciate you coming uh, and sharing your story yes, with us and, you. and your information. And we'll, hopefully we'll get to see you again. Yeah, another sure. another great conference. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.